Before we head to discussing pointers in C, there are certain concepts you need to know so that you can understand pointers better. Before we start discussing pointers, I just need to tell you a little bit about pointers. Pointers is the most important thing which differentiates C from other high level languages. Pointers give you extremely easy access to low level features like the memory of the computer. Now before we can head to compute, sorry, before we can head to pointers, let's try to like take a look at certain pre-pointer concepts. Let's say I have declared a character variable C and given it the initial value small a. And let's say I have declared a short int i with the initial value 100. Now these two variables need to be stored or they need to have some address in the main memory. Let's start our conceptual understanding by assuming that we are going to allocate variables starting from address 0. You will never have access to address 0 because address 0 has very important things related to the operating system and all. But just for conceptual clarity, I am going to say I am going to start storing my variables starting from address 0. So let us say character C is stored at address 0 and short int i is stored at address 1. Now there are a few things in memory which determine how these two items are going to be stored. Character is a single byte item whereas short int i more than likely is going to be composed of two bytes. So, you need to understand that variables occupy space in a computer memory and the space occupied by variables is determined by their data types. For example, the character data type occupies one byte of memory. The short int on most machines is going to occupy two bytes. The normal integer is going to occupy four bytes and so on. So let's take a look at how C with the initial value A is going to be represented at address 0 from a conceptual perspective. We are not looking at it from an actual perspective. We are looking at it from a conceptual perspective. So in this column I have the variable as well as the data type. In this column I have the address and this column I have the value. So character C assuming it is stored at address 0. This is address 0 in binary its value in small a is going to be represented like this. So this if you convert it into binary, okay, this a if you transform it into binary, this is the ASCII value of small a, which actually happens to be 97. Now i is a short integer type of data and its value is 100. 100 can easy be, easily be represented in one byte, but short int has two bytes. So at address 1, the first byte will have all zeros and the next byte which is byte 2, it's going to have 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. This represents 100 in binary. So the lowermost address byte that is address 1 is going to compose of all zeros because 100 can easily be represented in one byte. So the first address is only going to have all zeros. The address with decimal equivalent of 2 has this particular representation of 100 in binary. So this 0111001100 is 100 represented in binary. So just to summarize, character C requires one byte. It's stored at address 0 and it is represented like this. Assuming it is having the initial value A, so ASCII value of A is 97, so this is 97. I is a short int. It has to be started representing from address 1, but since it consists of two bytes, the first byte is going to all have all zeros. The next byte is going to have the number 100. And this way your memory addresses keep continuing and it's going to have different values. Now, 
If you ask me what is the address of character with the initial value a, I'll say the address is 0. And if you ask me what is the address of the integer variable i with the initial value 100, I'll say its address is 1. So the important point here is in case of multi-byte data, see integer is represented in more than one byte. This is one byte, this is the second byte, this is the third byte. Character one byte is enough, but short int the range is two bytes. So although short int is a multi-byte data, the address is the address of only the lowest byte. So the lowest byte happens to be what? One. So the address of int happens to be 1, address of char happens to be 0, okay. So this is the address of int and char. Now another important thing, in computers addresses start from 0 and continue on the positive side. They are like your normal integers except that they do not have the range of your integers. They have a range which depends upon the hardware memory of that particular C of that particular computer. So depending on how much memory you have installed that will give you the addresses that can be generated in the main memory. So if you have just one kilobyte of memory you're going to have 1024 bytes. Okay so if you are going to have 1 MB you're going to have 1024 kilobytes of addressable our address is there. So for one kilobyte, you are going to have 1024 addresses. So 1024 into whatever it is will determine the address for one megabyte, gigabyte and so on. So I hope this is clear now. So character is represented in a single address and in one byte, short int requires two bytes, but in the First location it's all zeros, in the next location the actual number 100 is represented and the address is always the address of the first byte. So address of i is 1, it's not 1 and 2, it is just 1. So I hope this brought you on speed with pre-pointer concepts which is essential for understanding pointers which we are going to start in the next lecture.